Well, the e-cigarette epidemic has doctors and educators racing to find a way to reverse an alarming trend. Use among teenagers is rising quickly. Last month, the Food and Drug Administration's latest survey found use among high school students increased by 78% in a year. Use among middle schoolers jumped by almost half. As KXAN's Alex Capriello reports, a recent push by the federal government has local teenagers doing what they can to educate their peers. The U.S. Surgeon General offers a stiff warning. We know that nicotine exposure during adolescence can uniquely harm the developing adolescent brain. He's now encouraging parents, teachers, and schools to pay closer attention to what he calls an epidemic. It's a problem for sure. Students say e-cigarettes are rampant in central Texas classrooms. Kids as young as middle school now exposed. They think it's cool, their friends think it's cool, peer pressure thing, um, and it just kind of becomes an epidemic. Teens in the Round Rock Independent School District are tackling that issue head on. 28 members of the Student Advisory Board from 8th to 12th grade meet every month. Their most recent discussion, how to rid the halls of e-cigs. We as educators confront this on a daily basis. The Round Rock administration stays vigilant. Dozens of electronic pens lining the table, all confiscated this semester. The principal, thankful his students are keeping their peers out of trouble. It's good to have strong peers to kind of educate you or stand up and say what they think is right and be a good mentor and be a good leader. In the junior class president's stance is clear. You don't need it. It's not necessary. That's really my message to my fellow students. In Round Rock, Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Now within the Austin Independent School District, students get their first lesson in early prevention in fourth and fifth grade. High schoolers cover the topic in health class during the alcohol and tobacco unit. Teachers also get their own lessons so that they know what signs to look out for if students are vaping. The FDA is investigating 21 e-cigarette companies to find out if they've been marketing their products illegally. In October, the agency conducted a surprise inspection at the corporate headquarters of Juul. Federal data shows Juul is the most popular brand of e-cigarettes among young people. Last month, the Juul stopped selling most of its flavored products in convenience stores and gas stations. Currently under Texas law, you have to be at least 18 years old to buy any tobacco product or e-cigarette. However, San Antonio went a step further. In October, a new city ordinance went into effect requiring tobacco and e-cig buyers to be at least 21 years old. The reason for a lot of this is doctors simply do not know all the effects from e-cigarettes and vaping. They haven't been... Uh, doing enough studies on that. What is certain, though, is that nicotine can harm developing brains. The addictive drug in tobacco products is found in most e-cigarettes. Using nicotine as an adolescent can also increase the risk for future addiction to other drugs, and there can be potentially harmful chemicals in e-cig aerosol. While there is data to say that e-cigarettes are less harmful than traditional cigarettes and other tobacco, that does not necessarily mean they are safe.